Hey, it's Friday. Always a good day. It's the end of the working week. We should put a smile on our faces. Hope you've had a good week. It's not been too bad. I know it's been a bit stressful. But today's video, it's nothing exciting or glamorous. It's just talking to a lifelong friend, Anton, who's getting into running. He had a slight calf injury. And uh, we were talking about stretching and things. So what I've done is I've just filmed my stretches today that I do on every single run. And I've refined it to these stretches over the years. So it comes from experience for me personally. So if you hang around, you can watch me stretch for three minutes. It's exciting, isn't it? But it could be useful if you're a runner. We can compare notes or if you want to try running, then keep watching and you'll be able to see what stretches to do to avoid injury. That's it. I'm done. I'm going to crack on. Hope you have a great day and I will speak to you later. Bye bye. Hey Anton, as promised I've got my, um, my stretches that I do on every run for you. So what I do is I, I found this works for me over the years and I've got it down to some really basic stretches. They're nothing fancy at all. I've tried all the fancy ones and they don't work for me. So what I always do is I always run for at least 10 minutes or a mile and a half. So that's what works for me. So just see what works for you. But it gets you warmed up and gets your mindset into, ah, right, okay, we're doing this, are we? And then your body gets warmed up and your muscles get warmed up. You're not going to hurt them before you stretch. So yeah, do at least 10 minutes of fast walking or running or a mile or whatever suits you. Just listen to your body like we said yesterday. Um, so yeah, I'll show you the stretches I do. It takes about two and a half to three minutes, 15 different stretches, really basic. Um, you'll need a wall or a fence that you can lean on. Um, that's it, I'll show you now. reach for the sky by the way I do each stretch for at least 10 minutes uh, 10 seconds so I do them for at least 10 seconds but listen to your body again and when it feels right you can move on to the next one so you just reach for the sky first then reach for the floor if you calf sore with your legs straight do it with your legs apart as you can, you don't have to touch the floor, just whatever suits you. So, I haven't got room here. Lean on a wall, just get your... This one's the straight, you're going to be pulling the back of your leg here, feeling that pull. You'll feel it just behind your knee, if you're doing it right. I like to do both in between. Stretches your back out a bit on the lower back. And your other leg. Now you're going to do the opposite. Pull it up behind your bum. That's 
there, just do each one for at least 10 seconds or until it feels right. Don't worry about stretching as far as me or if you can stretch further on them even better. Just stretch until you feel it stretching. Don't hurt yourself or pull anything. Um, that's it really. But I do that every single run without fail. I, like I say, for me personally, it suits me if I go either 10 minutes into the run and then do it or a mile and a half. It depends on the run really, because some runs, when I get going, it's too busy with people. So I know that if I run an extra few minutes, I'll get to a quieter spot where I can do my stretches and be left alone. Um, so yeah, hope that helps, buddy. There's loads of different stretches you'll get shown. You can do all sorts, and I've tried them all. And to be honest with you, some of them just don't feel right on the joints. But those old classic ones work for me. So hope to help you out. Get that calf better. Listen to your body. Take care, mate. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.